Friends, sorry for my disappearance. It was kind of crazy. I worked 13 hours on Thursday because it was open house and then I went to Maine, didn't bring my computer charger, so I couldn't film. So I'm back, I'm super excited. I got tagged to do this thing called Finish Six by Christmas. My hair's looking crazy, it's just the way it's gonna be. Um, so I'm super excited about it. Essentially the premise is that I needed to pick six items that I will be determined to finish by Christmas. And this is actually really funny and it just really fits in with who I am because I constantly am setting like finishing goals for myself. Like I'm like, I really wanna finish this lotion and like I put it right next to where I like usually grab lotion and like I make it a point to use that lotion in particular. So I am all for this challenge and I narrowed it down to my six items. The first item is my Park Avenue Princess bronzer. I am very proud of myself. You see this little tiny bit of pan that I have hit? I am really proud. I use this one pretty much exclusively, mostly because I'm the most comfortable with this one. I have a few other bronzers, and the reason why I wanna finish this one up is I wanna explore them, but I'm so comfortable using this one that I don't ever find myself using another bronzer. So I thought this one would be a good one to finish, and I've already made some good leeway on it, so I feel like my success rate will be pretty good for this one item. The next item that I have is another face product, and it is my Benefit Watts Up Sample. This little booger I have used up. Again, I own quite a few highlighters, but I favor this one because it is one that I think is just a go-to. It's really simple and easy for me to use. So I definitely want to use this up and encourage myself to use other products that I maybe like, but just feel more comfortable with this one. Plus, I've had it for a long time, so I feel like it's time that I use it up and be done with it. My third item is a concealer. It is this CoverGirl concealer, and I feel like I have had this forever. I've had it at least two years, and I'm sure that's probably past like the shelf life of this, but it still works. It doesn't bother me. I am right down to here. You can see, you can't really see, but there's like a clear line that shows right around here is where I am with the product. I'm not sure um, if my wand goes that deep, so I may have to hack into this to use this, but I've been really good about not purchasing concealers for brightening uh, because I have this one and I've been wanting to just use it up and be done with it and try other ones like the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer but I've told myself like no I need to finish this one up so I'm determined to do so by Christmas. My fourth item is kind of random but I have two chapsticks. I wanted to put both of these in this and count that as one item because they are chapstick. The first one is my Velvet Cupcake Chapstick. Um, let's talk about this. So last year, last year, I got a coupon from Birchbox to get a dollar off of a chapstick, which last I checked, chapstick is like a dollar. So they had all of these fun flavors and I was like, I'll try a fun flavor. I love red velvet cake. And they had a, just a plain like vanilla cupcake one, but I was like, no, I love red velvet cake. I will totally get this one and it will be great. This thing is awful. The flavor, I hate it. Like everything about this, I don't like. I put it on my mouth and I'm like, oh, I don't like this chapstick. But I'm so freaking stubborn that I force myself to use it. So I keep it in like my door po like pocket like nook thing. And I make myself put this on after school. Like I always need chapstick after school. So I put this on. I kept it in my coat pocket. And I roll it down like once a week to see how much progress I have made. And I feel like this thing is just holding on. But I'm not going to throw it away even though I hate it. Because I'm determined to use my free chapstick. Like I said, I'm weird. My other one is my Say Yes to Pink Grapefruit uh, Chapstick. I use this one in the morning and at night because it's like mud I put on after I wash my face and moisturize in morning and night. Um, so I like this one, but I just want to use it up so I can use other chapsticks. It's kind of like overwhelming how much chapstick I have. So I just want to use up some chapstick and move on with my life. Another face product that I have is this NYX Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer. I like this stuff a lot. It's coming off really bright, but nope, nope, no fixing that. Uh, I like this stuff a lot. I think it's really, really nice, and there seems to be a lot in this package. Again, a common problem you're noticing is that I've got a lot of primers, and I like a lot of primers, so I like to be able to cycle through them because, again, they're 
they're all just so great and so wonderful to keep in makeup on my face. So I just want to use this one up so I can try other ones. Like I've got Victoria's Secret ones that I've been really excited about because I've tried samples and love the samples. I've got Neutrogena one that I want to try. So I just want to use this puppy up. All right. The last item that I have is a color tattoo. I've been working on this one for a while. Like just take in all of my work. I'm so proud. This is in my favorite shade, Barely Branded. I use this pretty much for all of my looks. Very rarely do I stray from this one. Um, and again, my purpose for wanting to get rid of it it, or to use it up is because I have other colors and like I'm just lazy about using the other colors that would go good with other eye looks. So I think if I get rid of this one, very proud because this is the first color tattoo, like one of the first like YouTube made me buy it things that I got and I'm very proud that I still have it and I've used most of it. And two, I want to use other products because really I'm a creature of habit and I don't explore too much from what I know works. Like on the weekends, I might play with makeup a little bit, but during the school week, no, forget it. I don't have time if I mess up my face to do it again. Like I'm already up at 5 a.m. I'm gonna go with a routine, things that I know how to do that I know are gonna look relatively decent, if not awesome, on my face. So those are my six items. I think I will update you guys about once a month to let you know if I've emptied any of these or to let you know my progress, how it's going. I totally encourage you to try this, whether you make movies or you just want to do this on your own and let me know your updates. I would love to hear from you guys. We can cheer each other on because this might not be the easiest thing to do, but if nothing else, I am determined. All right, guys, that's it for me, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.